Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with another lecture for flow cytometry. And today in this lecture, I will tell you how you are going to create a quadrant. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the quadrant means a divided a plot into four different sections. So let's start today's lecture first. Let's first create a dot plot. You can drag, you know, in the previous lecture, how you can adjust the size of the plots. And also, I'm going to create a density plot. Press OK. Bring this plot on the right side. Adjust the side by dragging it. So this is the density plot and this is your dot plot as I show you in my previous lecture, how you can recognize them. Down is the forward scatter, which is linear. And on the left side on the y axis is side scattered linear. Okay, I will also make a histogram plot at present for you. So this is also forward scattered and y axis there is nothing. This is the indication of the histogram plot. So here is the forward scattered and side scattered. If you move the mouse cursor, you can see on the left is giving you some calculation. On the right side, if you move the mouse, you will find this icon black box. Click on it, it will open the dot plot properties. Let's change the font because this is look like very small. So you can also adjust the size of the font, make it bold, italic, whatever you want. Let's also change the font of the another plot and also for the histogram. So I'm going to just change the size of the font. So now select this plot. Click here on the right side, go to data source on the X parameter, click on it and change it to FL1 and Y parameter change it to FL2. Get it, there is no get right now, leave it. So once you press OK, you can find that this is log scale while the other plot is still in the linear. So let us make it also to the log scale. Go to the X, check FL1 and Y, FL2, press OK. So now go to the histogram and also change it to the log scale. Go to data source, click the parameter option, click FL1 and press OK. So now all your three plots have log scales. So in the log scale, you can make the quadrant. So the quadrant can be made in dot plot, while in the histogram, you will not make a quadrant. I will show you how. So go to the this icon quadrant, click on it, bring the mouse, drag here, click inside and you can freely move it. Ideally, x axis to the y axis, it should be at 10 to power 0. But you can adjust later on according to your cell population. So once you click it, automatically the software will make four quadrant A1, A2, A3 and A4. While in the next plot, which is a density plot. So in this plot still there is no quadrant. So how you can make a quadrant? Select that one, go to the quadrant region, click on it and bring it here in the plot. Click in the plot and you can freely move the mouse, adjust it and click it. This is one way. I will show you another way. How can you make it? Select and delete from the keyboard. So once you select the first dot plot, just simply click in the white area with the mouse and drag it to the right side of the plot, which is your quadrant plot and leave it. So it will make a same quadrant as in the dot plot. So if you see once I click to the histogram, I can't able to make a quadrant region. But if you notice, the linear single linear region is appearing. If I click the dot plot 
and now if I check I have an option of quadrant but there is no more option of the linear region which shows me and confirm me that you can't going to make any quadrant in the histogram and vice versa to the dot plot click on the linear region so 10 is to power 0 below is negative you will make one region on that side click on it and then you have to make another region which will be most probably your positive population area drag it click on it and you can adjust the size according to your cell population you can also adjust the position of the quadrant according to your cell population which you will later on see how can i adjust it and also you can adjust the linear regions in your histogram plot according to the population by clicking this icon once you move the mouse you can see all the regions are appearing a1 a2 a3 a4 and there are all the x mean y means percentage percent total percent gated total number is appearing same with the density plot and also same with the histogram plot i hope you people like my today's lecture also if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe keep watching i will come back with another lecture till then have a nice day and bye